know, the Lord has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah has spoken with me, and uh, he has spoken with me once more about the meeting that is coming up to Nakuru, the meeting that is coming up in Nakuru uh, on August, beginning August 26th, all through for the three days. And uh, the Lord has continued to speak about the historic visitation that is going to befall uh, the nations of the earth, the church of his visitation. And in this case, that meeting will take place in Nakuru. And I know that uh, many, many, many nations are coming to Nakuru. So surely the Lord is going to be visiting the body of Christ the entire body of Christ, the Church of Christ, world over is coming. So this is going to be a visitation into the house of the Lord. And uh, in this latest conversation, I see a lot of healings that will take place, tremendous and very, very historic uh, in their own marriage and accord. And uh, I see um, there is this baby that is totally blind, and the mother is carrying the baby. It's a boy. I think the baby looks like it's a, this, look, this is a boy. And the eyes open, and so the mother is handing, is carrying the baby and handing over the baby to me at the altar. And uh, after that, then the Lord showed me a very, very historic healing, a shocking that will strike the entire meeting. The, 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 the 110 acres plus that we have uh, rented in Nakuru, it is going to saturate the entire place. And this time around, the meeting is too big. It's, this, this is the super mega. That's why the Lord has called it the super mega visitation of the Lord, which means even the stuff, the things he's going to do in this meeting uh, are, are going to be historic, super mega. So I see this baby again. I think it looks like it's a boy and the eyes have opened and the mother is handing over the baby to his servant, the mighty prophet of the Lord at the altar. And uh, as he receives this baby, there's a tremendous uh, jubilation and celebration that consumes the meeting. And uh, after that, then the Lord shows me this unparalleled visitation, the healing anointing that strikes the entire place. And this time we have rented 110 acres. And that is the size that can, 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 can cover the population that we see, that I have seen coming there. The, the more than 10 million people that I have seen coming to that place. And so this is going to be a very important time again, once more in the church, when the Lord is going to be in touch with the church is going to rendition the reality on the coming of the Messiah to the church. Is going to rekindle her mind and heart on the kingdom of God, the requirements thereof of righteousness, those basic thresholds that the church must meet, righteousness, holiness, the fear of God, right standing with the Lord, integrity beyond reproach, and all this. So it's a very powerful moment in the church. And again, like I've said again and again, I saw, I repeat it here, that this is the time to be a Christian. What, what an awesome time to be born again. What a uh, powerful and a wonderful time in which to be alive also, to witness these visitations that the Bible so spoke of. And so, again, I see a big, big healing service where the creepers will walk, Many, many, many cripples from different places. I see wheelchairs. Uh, the blind will see. The deaf will hear. The mute will speak. Paralytics will walk. The lame legs will be stretched and healed. Broken backs healed. Wounds dry up. Cancer dry. Tumors dissolved. HIV also dry up from the blood. And all the other blood conditions, leukemia, diabetes, hypertension, hmm? The Lord is going to do creation. He's going to extend legs, create a new eye where there was no eye in the socket. This is the hour at which there is no limit. This is the hour at which there is no, no bound on the extent of the miracles, the signs and wonders that the Lord will bestow upon the church, upon that meeting. Why? 
because time is over. The Messiah is coming. And now the Lord is busy expositioning the powers of the coming kingdom. He is expositioning the glory of the coming kingdom. That people may be touching their hearts, that they may be a willing people, willing to be a people unto the Lord, willing to obey the Lord and aspire and strive for the eternal kingdom of the Messiah, the kingdom of the gospel, the kingdom of glory, the kingdom of heaven. And so this is a very blessed message of blessings coming from the Lord to the church. And he's saying, yes, indeed, the church is still the royal and priestly bride of Christ. But yes, indeed, he is willing at this hour to restore the church with great power, the power of his glory. Remember, the glory, the cloud of glory of the Father is still tabernacled in the house at this hour. And he's saying at this hour, the significance and the gravity of repentance, the significance and the gravity that righteousness beholds and holiness behold before the throne of God will be well dramatized and illustrated in that meeting. And he's asking the nations to adhere to righteousness, to embrace holiness, and that the church may once more be the light of this dark world that we are seeing so dark, so dark at this hour. It's getting much darker. And remember, every time it gets darker, then the closer we draw to the coming of the Messiah. And I know it that every time the Lord speaks about these visitations, the Lord prepares and plans to visit. The more he does this, the closer to the zero time the clock ticks. So we are moving very close to the end of time to the coming of the Messiah, and when time will have surrendered after then. So this is the hour to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Now, when it comes to Kenya, today the Lord showed me a lot of churches in Kenya, what a blessed nation Kenya is. A lot of churches, and they were registering, they were saying the church, the buses, our buses, some of us will leave at night, some of us will leave in the evening. Let us leave. In the, there was, I see a lot of people registering in buses, hundreds and hundreds of buses in, in this country. I saw their registration today. The Lord showed it to me how it will be on that day as they begin to leave. So I saw people saying, many people are worried. They say, I don't want the bus to leave me. And the Lord made me hear the conversation of the Christians, very enthusiastic, very zealous to go and be in the presence of the Lord. And so there are many buses, I see many vehicles, and this time around we have sufficient parking. We have set aside about 10 acres for parking, all the buses and the vehicles that will come. However, the Lord showed me this very, uh, the, 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 the arrangement, he's shaking the people, the church, everybody running up and down, making sure they have a slot in the bus, in the car, so that they may travel and go into the meeting of Jehovah, Yahweh, the mighty God of Israel, that they may partake of the visitation for this hour. Remember, all this is happening at a time when the Lord has spoken with me about the beast, the beast and the prostitute, the beast of revelation, and the promiscuous woman that sits on the beast, the events that come after this. So may the nations prepare, and blessed are those that will be in this meeting, because this is not like any other meeting. It looks like the Lord has come out full force again to reestablish another level, another bar and yardstick for this revival. May the Lord bless you. Shalom. Mm -hmm.